What is up guys, Killer Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Showcases. Today we are going to be looking at 5 mods that change the vanilla Dragon Priests within the game. But without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. For our first spot within the video is going to be DMS, going to be the Dovakins Unlimited Shout mod. Coming in at 1 kilobyte of a download, this is a no cooldown shout mask within the form of a vanilla vanilla dragon priest mask which allows you to shout as many times as you like it can be found in dragon's reach in the court wizard area it's on the floor ready for you to go over there and pick it up completely free it is based off of morake dragon priest mask this is going to be for xbox one and for playstation 4 for the second spot within this video is going to be the dragon priest armor coming in at 23.5 megabytes of a download this mod adds a full set of dragon priest armor available for all human races male and for female update for this one you can play it with the mod authors playable skeleton race but we are not including that within this video the item list for this one is going to be the cloth armor heavy armor and the light armor variations for these ones all clothes items can be craftable in the tanning rack in the dragon section too if you are looking for the heavy variations of this set for the third spot within the video is going to be dragon priest masks of immersion now if you've already got this set of armor from the second spot and you're ready to look into something a little bit more spicy a little bit more tamed uh, to the dragon priest if not to boost the immersion of the vanilla base game this is definitely going to be a big one for you you know we did cover this within one of the five new console mods for that particular week i do believe it's going to be maybe two weeks ago we did cover this one it was absolutely awesome really breathtaking i couldn't believe how well this one did perform now for this one it is going to be a port i do believe from the nexusmods.com but what this one does is it changes all of the textures not only to do with the mask itself but allows you to have a incredibly detailed hood in correspondent to whatever the vanilla mask is going to be as you can tell on screen now they all look different so you can pretty much pick and choose what you're going to be for those ones how to use very simple indeed you can put on the dragon mask of immersion and use your general texture mod if you do see fit so but for me i actually had this one just installed i had no other things sort of in conjunction with this one and just the detailing overall to do the mask and the hood was really nice indeed for the penultimate spot within the video is going to be a mod called Dragon Priest Mask Buff. Now, we've already got the armor. We've already settled of what mask you are going to be using with a beautifully detailed hood. Now, it's time to buff the vanilla stats up. Because let's be honest, all of the vanilla stats to do with the enchantments that are binded to those particular masks are really dull and boring. What this mod does is it gives you a full list of the whole enchantments that are scattered around on these particular masks. If you want to go and check out a full synopsis i'd highly recommend you doing that just because they each have their own and they've all been changed too i'm not going to be reading out all of them uh, between the levels of 40 maybe i think lowest of 44 all the way up to 59 and 60 the mask changed dramatically too so obviously once you level the mask technically levels with you as well which i really do like in correspondence with that one overall i think it's a really good one to add just for the whole atmosphere of becoming somewhat of a uh, elder or a late level dragon priest this will work in conjunction with that absolutely beautiful so if you are doing a build and you're going through the vanilla base game and you want to feel sort of a progression system if not a power sort of upgrade to do with that particular build this is going to be a perfect one to feel that within the game and for the fifth and final spot within the video is going to be Summon Otter the Mad. Now, this one is going to be working beautiful with this video. You have become quite possibly the most overpowered dragon priest as all. Well. We've got the armor, we've got the mask, or you've even got an additional mask if you want to have that cooldown reduction. But now let's put a partner, if not a follower, with that particular one to really overpowered dragon priests to be running around tamriel this one will level up with the player all the way up to level 200 for this one it is going to be the showcase if not the location on screen now there is a little bit of a backstory if you want to go and check out who this is in conjunction of that but using it through combat this particular follower is incredibly overpowered and i really did like it and the simple fact as well that it is summonable so you can pop it at any time you don't need to have it currently with you all the time i mean if you want to follow it with you all the time then your best bet is to 
obviously make a second set of Dragon Priest armor and change the loadout of possibly the mask if you do see fit to do that. This one is coming in at 47.5 kilobytes of a download. Very modest indeed, but why not have two of you ruling the land? So guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like on the video. It does help me out an awful lot. Let me know if you've got any suggestions down in the comments section below. I am writing a list of things to do and a thing to cover. But until the next one, guys, Killer Kev here and Killer Kev out.